Question number three, Paul Foster Bell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir, my question is to the Minister of Finance and asks what recent reports has he seen on trends in government revenue and how does this compare with forecasts in the half year update in December? Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker, last week the Treasury released the government's financial statements for the six months to December. They show that higher than expected they show higher than expected tax revenue and lower than expected operating expenses, which contributed to an operating balance. Uh, deficit of 990 million for the six months to December. That's 380 million dollars smaller than the one that was forecast by Treasury in the half-year update. Uh, the government considers that a strong economy and responsible finish fiscal management can deliver a surplus when the final accounts are published in October this year. However, it remains to be seen whether the additional uh, tax revenue above forecast uh, persists for the rest of the financial year. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Paul Foster Bell. To the Minister, what were the drivers of the better than expected outturn on the Crown accounts? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr. Speaker, tax revenue was a bit above forecast. GST about 1.7 per cent above the forecast, and corporate tax uh, 3.1 per cent above the forecast. The customs and excise duties were $46 million above their forecast. Uh, core Crown expenses were a bit lower than forecast. Uh, we've yet to see whether uh, corporate tax, which is notoriously uh, variable from a forecaster's point of view, and increases in GST uh, persist through the rest of the year. Supplementary question, Paul Foster Bell. What steps has the government taken to return its books to surplus? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, the government has our focus particularly on uh, two aspects. One is policy that underpins a growing economy that can deliver more tax revenue. Uh, and we've also focused on reasonable constraints, constraints on expenditure. We could have got to surplus uh, sooner if the government had pursued the kind of large-scale uh, drastic cuts that governments in other developed countries have pursued. However, we have chosen a more considered and incremental path uh, it does mean that uh, getting to surplus depends less on drastic spending cuts and more on continued growth and revenue. Further supplementary. Supplementary question, Paul Foster Bell. What approaches to fiscal management would make it more difficult for the government to reduce debt? Honourable well, Mr Speaker, other approaches would be um, opposing every single government measure to constrain spending and debt. Uh, joining union protests calling for unsustainable increases in public sector spending and, advoca and advocating policies that persist with previous spending and borrowing uh, that Treasury forecasts would push New Zealand government debt to very high levels. Uh, this is the approach of the finance spokesman of the Labor Party. Question number four. 